Welcome to Kingdom Motivation with Marjorie Bell. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you're returning, if you're a first time subscriber, welcome. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you'll be aware of when I drop the next video. Please take this word to God in prayer for confirmation to know whether or not it's for you because not every word is for everyone, but it's for a specific group of people. I pray that this word reaches the right people. I hope you all are having a good Sunday. I had no intentions of coming on today, but Holy Spirit had other plans and I'm going to share a word that he shared with me. So this morning in devotion, I heard him say the words divine helpers. You may wonder, what does that mean for you? You see, a divine helper is a supernatural assistance from God to accomplish something. This assistance can come through people, angels, and the Holy Spirit. It can help you in critical times. God provides destiny helpers. He provides them for his chosen people to help fulfill his purposes for our lives. Genesis 41 verses 9 through 14 is a passage about this very type of supernatural help. It speaks into the grace of God. It describes a story of how a man that worked for a king suddenly remembered an imprisoned dream interpreter by the name of Joseph. These verses read like this. Then the chief cupbearer spoke to Pharaoh saying, I would mention my fault today. Two years ago, Pharaoh was angry with his servants and he put me in confinement in the house of the captain of the guard both me and the chief baker. We dreamed a dream on the same night he and I, each of us dreamed according to the significance of the interpretation of his own dream. Now there was with us a young man, a Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard, and we told him, and he interpreted our dreams for us to each man according to the significance of his own dream. And just as he interpreted the dream for us, so it happened. I was restored to my office and the baker was hanged. Then Pharaoh sent and called for Joseph and they hurriedly brought him out of the dungeon. And when Joseph shaved himself and changed his clothes, making himself presentable, he came to Pharaoh. Now the bottom line here is that you must remain mindful that God's deliverance may not come when you expect it or how you expect it, but he is an all of a sudden God. Be expectant for a sudden change through heavenly help. God will cause you to be remembered when you least expect it. So four things you should keep in mind. Number one, keep your focus on growing your gifts in the waiting season. Number two, keep hoping in God's promises about you. Number three, Keep expecting the goodness of God. And number four, continue to tap into his grace that will keep you while you're waiting. God is an all of a sudden God. So don't be surprised when your deliverance comes when you least expect it. Be blessed. Thanks for watching and Lord willing, see you next time.